we're doing something different here, guys. First off, uh, pardon me, it is extremely hot out. Me and Mike are dripping. Through a series of, I would say, fortunate random events, a lot of cars showed up at the same exact time. One from Germany, some from Japan, some from Texas. And typically with YouTube, what would happen is the cars would go under covers and then you would see one every month to kind of delay, prolong the content. I want to experiment with doing something different. Every car here has an interesting story and I'm excited about for one reason or another. And I want to be able to enjoy them right off rip and I want to be able to start tinkering on them in videos without them sitting on the back burner. So I presented the idea of new car week. Six cars, five days. Every video we're gonna go through a different car and we're gonna set a baseline lap timer on the compound. Some are fast, some might be slow, some might not even work, but it's gonna be a good time and this is the beginning of it. Well, it sounds like Adam's coming with car number one. Gotcha. <laughs> Mike almost jumped, I never make Mike jump, but when I'm in a chaser, which is car number one, Mike jumps because he knows that these things, where they're going, they ain't stopping. It's too hot to talk outside, let me you in the shop. I wanted to take a break to share a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Displate. Now what you see in my hand right here is a one of a kind metal poster. And not only does it look great, it's super, super easy to install. I've got three of my hero cars that I'm intending to hang up in a similar area to kind of create a vibe together. And then three other black and white ones since I know the theme of up here in my lounge area is more kind of like grayscale. Some of you guys might be in apartments where you can't put holes in walls, or you might be like me where you hate the commitment of putting holes in walls because you don't know how to fix drywall. And then it's one, two, and three. Best part for me, I didn't do any measuring. I just kind of guessed. And because they're magnets now, we can straighten it out, put it at whatever height we want, or even swap it out if you want to try something different. The ease of installation speaks for itself. You can find branded designs, artistic designs, and they're actually printed in Europe and expected delivery time is only four to five business days. I've got my own link in the description. I want to remind you guys when you're ordering a display, you are supporting my channel. And with my link, you'll get 25% off your displays if you buy one or two. And if you buy three or more, you'll get 29% off. All you gotta do is use my code AdamLZ. I want to give a massive thank you to display for sponsoring this video. You guys are gonna love them. I don't want to say we're setting the bar low to start this series, but this is something that you might have seen in the background or you might have seen post on my Facebook listing. The story behind this car, it's a GX100 Chaser. So this is what my white Chaser started out. It's actually an Avante 2. So it's an NA 2 liter. Uh, the color, I like to refer to this as catfish green because there's so many times I would see these cars pop up at auction and it looks like they're black and they look so sick kitted out. When you look close, it's actually a really cool color. It just always tricks me. It's like a blue green that looks black, but it has like a crazy amount of pearl in it. When people do these kitted up, it looks nice. But anyway, a story behind this car, it was kind of like a tester car. It was one of the first cars we brought over from Japan just to kind of get like used to doing all the paperwork and stuff. Everyone's always asking for a chaser. So this is probably one of the few cars that was brought over with the intent to sell instead of being added to my personal collection. Interior's clean, it's a little old man spec, but the coolest thing in this car, you gotta look under the hood. We haven't touched it at all. We haven't cleaned up a single thing. And it looks like someone FES spec the engine bay. The zinc looks brand new. All of the aluminum looks brand new. Uh, the car does have really, really low kilometers. Yeah, so this car has 60,000 kilometers on it, which is, yeah, about 30,000 miles. Yeah. The underside on this car is beautiful too. So this is like the, the prime candidate for someone if they wanted to manual turbo swap a car or if they just wanted a comfortable AC daily. I think I have this car listed for like 10.9. It is still for sale, but there's a chance I might be trading it for another car in the near future. But I'll, I'll put in the description what the current status of the car is. Honestly, I don't see a whole reason to spend a lot of time with this car. The next one, we've actually got two good old Crayola crayons coming up. If you know, you know. With the variety of cars that you guys are gonna see in this next week, I wanted to kind of like set a baseline. So I figured this car is probably gonna be the slowest around the layout that hasn't been determined yet. Basically each car will do a lap around a certain layout we define in the compound. And that's gonna be the start of the leaderboard that will eventually continue on to the CRX and our guests. Hopefully with this, we can kind of iron out and figure out what makes the most sense and what's the coolest to watch for you guys. Best thing about this thing, AC rips, boy. <laughs> it is too hot out there. Mike is dying. <laughs> it's too hot. serious with the helmet. It's lap time, baby. <laughs> you know, the, the first lap time may not be crazy, but I want to get in the habit. You never know what could happen. We've got a lot of gators here that might walk out in front of us. I've set up a mini course. I'm going to call this compound short circuit. <laughs> I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> Just because there's so much water. Let me show you. If you guys remember where I tested the Evo, did we show the ponds all cleared out? Yeah, we showed that. If you guys remember where I tested the Evo, it was kind of cool going behind Clutch Shop. All this water is going to make uh, the lap times not accurate, so we gotta look out for that. 
So we're doing the short circuit that basically avoids this. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna try leaving it in low. I don't think I'm gonna hit red line, but we'll see if I need to do some shifting. Come in, drop a tire. I think it has great feedback. Little understeery. Try to manage the weight of the car. Coming through the water. Dab the brake. Ooh, little oversteery. Feels good though. Nice feedback. Shift in the second. Coming up on the fast corner. Ooh. All right, she drifts. Woo! And we're done. I swear, dude, this is like the easiest car to drive fast. <laughs> Watch this be a better lap time than like all the other cars that you guys are, don't know yet. Deceiving. Yeah. And I had AC on the whole time. I'd show Yohan what his car can do. Yeah, that good old 2.0. All I hear is tires flying by. I don't hear a car. We'll do the. I'm eating lunch. We'll do the whole proper layout. I'll start from the starting line and all. Oh, then we got starting line and everything. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this is honestly probably some of the most fun I've had, like driving around the compound. Really? Yeah. Ironically, it's in a 100. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, I forgot about the back of the house. Jesus. <laughs> oh, the lake. <laughs> Shifting and all. This is where it gets fun. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, damn. She gets down, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. And we got AC on. Yep. Alright, back to lunch. Sick. Watch, well, I was going back to drill holes on the 32. Yeah, about that. They haven't yep. seen that part yet in the video. Not yet. We're waiting for you to finish doing this. <laughs> Uh, think I should Thank do a cool down? A cool down. <laughs> All right, we have our official first time on the board. In first place, we have the... We have the GX100 with a whopping 3821. 38... Oh, you should let me win those too. Don't worry. It's, I, I have a good feeling that the GX100 is going to get bumped out of first place pretty soon. <laughs> Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the numbers later. Now, more car things. That was a quick one. I knew that we wouldn't really be filming that much with the GX. So, the fun part, the thing that I've been so patiently waiting for, we have all the pieces back from paint for the R32. We've got the N1 skirts. This, I don't remember if I showed you guys, this is the N1 trunk lip that will actually be drilling into the trunk. Same thing with the N1 hood lip. I got the Gannies, all fresh painted. I already showed you guys the N1 skirts but these just came in and believe it or not, they're like super hard to find, actually pretty rare. And they're weird, they're almost like soft. I don't wanna push it because I'm kind of scared to like crack the paint. Poly. But yeah, they're like, yeah. it's like a poly rubber and these are actually the N1 rear spats. So this will tie in the rest of the side skirt lines and kind of replace this and make the rear end come down lower. But the paint matches uh, I, I pretty like damn good. I'm happy with it. On point. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm excited. It's literally, literally gonna transform the look of this car.
Getting ready to fit the uh, rear spats on, and one thing that is really important to me is making sure that this area doesn't get destroyed by rock chips. So I'm gonna put a little bit of clear bra on before I mount it. That'll also help the bolt holes from not digging into it. Then I'll walk you through kind of my process for 3Ming this area to make sure it sticks and still looks good. We're going through all these Japanese instructions. We're trying to, you know, be OEM plus and all that. So we cut the, the man himself, OEM plus kin, and we ask him for input on these weather stripping, which, like lays in here and to some people it will be like OEM plus extra that's what I would call this extra OEM plus but the man himself didn't put that on and he put it on one car and he was having issues with it so we laid it on the car just to see if we could get it on and be like above OEM plus better than Tommy because <laughs> like it will be tight but because of the color of the car it just lays out on the car way better without that's you know this piece and it looks better without the piece um and being and the fact that it lays out uh it's hard to install it's just we just made the call to not put it on but yeah if the man himself oem plus didn't put it on it's all right for us to, to put it on I always hit whatever I'm using 3M on with a heat gun, just to make sure the 3M is like kind of hot and sticks. But a trick is when you're having a hard time peeling the edge, if you hit it with heat, it'll actually shrink the red back and then it's a little bit easier to lift. Let me see if I can show you. This isn't doing the best job of showing. Just take my word for it. <laughs> I almost want to build an RB26 again before I do this. <laughs> um, they gave us templates, we cut the template out, and then you kind of have to reverse one of the templates to use it on the right hand side. So I'll just trace the back line to the front and it tells you to follow this line. And this dot here is reference to you from the factory line uh, hole that was here already. You use all those points to then mark your points of drilling and then this right here flops to the back so according to these pieces this line and this dot down here everything lines up but it's nerve-wracking because we're about to drill into the quarter panel of the car <laughs> but this is the proper way to do it and we don't want two thousand dollar size curve flopping off in the highway when he's going 200 miles per hour all right so we got the rear spoiler slash duckbill style wing, it's which rocket, I don't... It's a rocket bunny. A rocket mm. bunny. I love oh. rocket bunny. On any car, favorite thing. Favorite thing. This one's kind of low, though, for his, my liking. You know my dad's car actually has one of these? Really? Yeah. Bam. So, I like that it came with templates. Right. So, if you see, it has notches for the factory wing. So, this Nismo wing hugs slightly the factory wing, which goes there. But then it came with templates. One template goes right here, and this one goes there, and then the drill mark. Mm. And then it gives you a measurement on the paper where it tells you the distance between this hole to this hole, mm. the spread. So then once you have your templates in place, you could confirm that that's in the right spot. The one thing I noticed is, it might be the tape, it's cheap, but cars that are coated, ceramic coated, the masking tape will not like to stick to it. Yeah, that's so a good thing. Yeah, so we use the same style template to mark our holes or where they'll be a drill. Then I use a center punch to get our markings, like a dimple where the drill bit will grab into. Now I'm using a different style drill bit for this, which will work perfect for that. Um, the instructions call for a eight millimeter hole, which is in conversion to inches, it's like a 5 16 drill bit. You can use a normal style drill bit, but what I'll do is, instead of doing this, going straight to the same 8 mil hole, start off with like 1 8 inch drill bit, and then work your way up to the 8 mil. You're not going straight from the panel to a just the 8 mil hole. Yeah. And it'll keep it accurate too. But this drill bit has like a spring-loaded thing on there, so you go on the panel, 
center punch the dimple will help it keep it in, in, in place and you slowly go with this push in and yep here goes mine you drill just like that that's yeah, a really. clean hole and you do it two more times and yeah we're drilling into a seventy-five thousand dollar gtr you think that's what it's worth probably i mean it's a nice car one of the cleanest cars yeah i mean tommy would probably agree i think that's fair it's like a hall saw but it doesn't shake like a hall saw but then the kit comes with the clips it's oem style clips when you put them in actually i like to the burning tool mm. that to clean the rub edges inside so that the clip actually grabs on pretty good it will go in and then clips on and it has an adhesive slash seal that will go against the body and as you pull it on it compresses and now we check to see if it lines up yeah so once um, you put it on it is impossible so to take it off john well you could yeah, rest it you could probably wouldn't. rest it in place without pushing it in all the way right right that looks like it's good six And my GTR is officially fully N1 kitted out. I've got the hood lift in here. Looks sick. The Ganadors, which was badly needed. My other ones were rough. The N1 skirts, the N1 rear spats that kind of tie it all together. I love it just because it makes the car literally look like this much lower. My spoilers repainted. I got the N1 trunk lip. Um, now, the like kind of three things left on my list. I've got to lower it more. I got a new badge that I'm going to put on after I can get Jeff to polish it when I take this badge off. The N1 headlights and then this car will look exactly like I want it to, especially after I get my new wheels that I'm having rebuilt for it. First video of new car week. The next video is going to be a good one. There's actually two new cars that are getting revealed in one video. Make sure you watch it and I hope you enjoy this one. Let's go. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, I forgot about the back of the house. Jesus. <laughs>